All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just lunch broke Joe here. This is the old lunch break pickup and I've got it loaded on the trailer and I was ready to race on Friday afternoon. Drew and I got it ready. We put it on the trailer. The problem was when it was going on the trailer, well, before I get to that, let me tell you about how the day went. And it was kind of just the perfect storm. And I'm not about to give you a crybaby video without actually fixing the truck and doing burnouts in this video at some point. So hopefully I'll stick around for that. Let's just, let's look at the truck. Okay. So I got my gauges in. They all look nice. Ran my little copper line and the temp sensor line. Shifters in. Got that from my buddy Michael Yielding. Some stuff he took out of his car because it was just wasn't fast enough for him. So all that's in, hooked up, worked great. Uh, as far as I know, I was able to back the, back the truck up and then pull up in the yard. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I got lots of ant piles. Um, a couple spots in the yard, the right front brake locked up while I was backing up and doing my turns. So the brake locks up. And if you saw my short, well, before we get to the brakes, let me go back. Here's our sweet little 400. It's living its best life in the truck. So I knew this is a tried and true engine that works great. Transmission, same thing. Got that from my buddy Rick Carter. And I actually ran it in my race car uh, one weekend. It did super well, even behind the 512. So I know it was great, ready to go in this truck for this occasion. The tailgate throwdown. But, and here's even my, my AED carburetor, my most favorite 750 AED. But before I had a problem with it, you'll see I've got an orange box mounted up here. My Miller died on me that I did the install on. Drew and I started the truck, had it running perfect about three or four minutes. It totally dies, like just like someone turned the key off. So we're looking around, we check for fire, there's no fire. Um, we actually pull the distributor thinking like, well, it's a new fire core distributor, there shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Check the cool, cool's good. I walk to my run stand and pull the orange box off with its own wiring harness. That's why it's kind of sloppy on top of the engine here. Plug it right in. I hook my power to it right here. So I tee off my power from before. Immediately starts right up. Everything was wonderful. It's time to road test the truck. So we get to that and I'm just about to jump in, shut the hood and we're gonna go down the highway. And I notice in the very back, and I can probably show you at some point in this video. My rear accelerator pump starts to drip on my tried and true AED carburetor. But to be fair, I bought that carb probably four and a half or five years ago. So that accelerator pump starting to drip. And I realize if I go for the truck's first maiden road trip down the road here, whatever, um, it's just gonna be dripping gas into the valley pan, eventually running down the headers and catching on fire. So I didn't get to do that. So I told Drew, let's just quickly, we can buy one in the morning at O'Reilly's on the way to the races, put it on at the races and go. So I back up, back up, pull up, whatever. My right front brake locks up. I'm like, well, it's, I redid these brakes probably back in March or something, just on my lunch break. I do one side, come back and do the other. Let me show you the better side. Here's my pretty drum that I cleaned up a few months back, painted up made it look nice the inside wasn't terrible and i'm going to pull it off and show you the shoes re-grease my spindles I actually put new bearings new races new seal in here all that's perfect and the shoes themselves they relined there's a primary they cleaned up i was i thought they looked pretty good um you know there's my new wheel cylinder it's already starting to rust because it's been four or five months now, but new wheel cylinders, new rubber brake lines, all that was wonderful. I put on Drew's old master cylinder off of his Roadrunner that 
he didn't like. I think he bought a wheel wood or something and replaced it, but new hardware kit, new springs. What else can you do? So as I'm getting it up on the trailer, finally, the right front locks up. Let's go look at right front. Here's right front. You'll notice the, uh, the shoes are on, but the shoes, the lining came off or whatever you call this. And I'm sorry, it's probably my fault for not just go ahead and buy new ones, but that's not ever supposed to happen. Um, they didn't look that bad. And I figured I could get the truck out, drive it. See here, it looks like my wheel cylinder's starting to drip on me. You know, that new one from China. So that's fun. Anyway, something else to add to the puzzle, but I'm finding all that out on Friday at nine o'clock and the race is Saturday morning. Registration ends at 11 on Saturday morning and I've never driven the truck down the road. So, um, hundred percent my fault, but if I hadn't had that drip from that accelerator pump, I would have drove this thing down the highway, probably 90 miles an hour. And I'm certain when these come off at 90, they might lock a wheel up just as easily as they did in my yard. And it would have been a bad day. So we live and we learn. I've got new shoes to put on right now. truck is off the trailer and I've still got a new master to put on. The front brake shoes are new. The drums are perfect. Fixed my accelerator pump on the carburetor that was dripping in the rear. So I have zero leaks right now. I've cranked it up. I got a little bit of heat in it. Uh, timing's on, I think 34 degrees. I double checked it, but should be good to go for a test drive here. I want to show you how easily this thing starts. And I know it's only 10 to 1 compression or whatever, but there my fan kick on. That's it. We're right up to 72 or 3, whatever uh, pounds of oil pressure. 10th gauge is not up yet. But it's all good. I don't think my alternator's charging. means it's not but if you can see this alternator and how old it is uh, that might be my problem that was a good known regulator which it's got a clip out right now I can play with that in a minute but I'm almost ready for a road test is what I'm trying uh, to get to first real test drive uh oh I didn't bolt that one to the floor uh -oh. I'll do that first
drive got us up to 165. Still not charging. I will get out and see if it's dripped anything. Well, she's dry as a bone. Everything's happy, just hiding right in there. Finally got some heat on the header, so I don't know if you can see that or not. But good first test drive. Anyway, I think I would have did okay at the races. I got my slicks in the back of the truck, but I didn't make it. So I hope I get too soon. I appreciate y'all watching. And we got us a little 500 horsepower sleeper truck now. people.